is so crazy. Ah, uh, it's like a whole shake up. It's like a whole shake up a thing. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Wow, your girl Tay here and today I'm bringing you another review of Naked and Afraid XL Season 6 Valley of the Banished Episode 9, Third Times a Harm. Okay, so we already know that Seth tapped out. We're on day 25. Oh my goodness, it's like... <sighs> The days. I feel like the days are going by so slow, but they're actually going by really fast. So let's start off with Boot Lent. Uh, day 25, he's eating the turtle eggs from the turpins he caught. Ugh. Uh, he now has Seth's bow and arrow, okay? Uh, he has to make a new blind because basically Seth's blind was not up to par. Like it wasn't even a, a blind. And I want to throw up a Twitter fan tweet. They said it's not a blind, it's somewhere basically where you hide and sleep and take a nap. So, because basically that's what he was doing. He wasn't doing anything really, he was just sleeping in there most of the time. So, yeah, it wasn't a blind, it was a hide. So, <laughs> day 26, he goes to the blind, you know, he's covering it uh, much better than what it was. He tries to hunt, but he doesn't get anything. Day 27, he checks his fishing lines and nothing and something took his um bait that was on the line but he didn't get anything okay so bullet didn't really have too much going on this episode but team camp oasis team six pack west Gwen, suzanne ryan sarah and chef john they had a couple of things going on so let's run it down it was crazy this episode for them so Day 25, Sarah hasn't been feeling well and she's not, you know, contributing much to anything. Wes and Ryan go looking for food because, you know, there is no more food left. Ryan isn't feeling too well, but he's still pushing through, still wants to hunt because his ego, like his ego is crazy. Like I thought his ego was going to take him out this go round, but it didn't. You know, Wes uh he got a, a impala so that's what they ate they were eating and stuff uh they were gonna make some shoes from the high uh the heat is getting to everyone okay ryan like i said isn't feeling well wes is constipated uh he did some harm trying to poop uh he said there was blood and he was in pain oh my goodness can you imagine being constipated in the freaking wilderness like that? He's trying to get this poop out and it's just like, it's not happening. Wow. Uh, so, night 25, Gwen is suffering from heat exhaustion. Suzanne, Suzanne was helping her out. Love Suzanne for helping her out. She was very um, in encouraging. I, I, I want to say this about Suzanne. She encourages the women on the show. Um, she's all for the woman empowerment. Okay, that's that's all good and fine and dandy. So, you know, I like that. I like that. Like, she wasn't, like, she was um, encouraging Sarah when they were walking. Uh, she was, you know, a little iffy with Makani in the beginning. But then, eventually, you know. They had a little bonding experience and she encouraged her. So I love that she was helping uh, Gwen out, okay? So Gwen is dizzy. She's throwing up. She can't keep any water down. Wes, his condition uh, hasn't changed. He's still in pain. Day 26, Wes is feeling better. Sarah is nauseous. The meat is causing some digestive issues. They're not getting enough fiber. Uh, they're just eating red meats, okay? They decide to take a, a rest day. Suzanne and Chef John are doing well. They aren't hurting as much as everyone else. Like, Chef John and Suzanne are like, you know, good, <laughs> basically. I think they're going to last to the end, maybe possibly we'll see chef john takes uh some old like bones after they eat the impala the bones they take the scraps and they dump them out for the wild animals uh to eat so they won't you know come towards their camp uh night 26 they can hear the hyenas though um eating and stuff and then they're like near the camp and stuff and when uh, is like we haven't fed you enough like no man they want more <laughs> 
Day 27, they focus on beefing up the Balmas uh, because of the hyenas. Uh, getting firewood and water. Ryan still isn't feeling well. Sarah is nauseous and she vomits. Uh, she says the food isn't digesting right with her. Wes wants to use the bathroom. He builds a toilet with uh, a hole, some rocks, and a log. It was really, it was really a nice uh, toilet for the for the situation that they're in. So in the wilderness, in the bush, it was a good toilet. He's having major issues, and they call in the medic, and the medic says that um, the only thing he could do is a rectal exam. And Wes is like, do it. Do it, but I, I don't want to be taken out of here. Do what you need to do. And the medic says, um, you know, he's having some bowel obstruction. And if it doesn't get better by the next day, that they will medically tap Wes out. Day 28, Wes is being medically tapped out because he can't poop. The group gets emotional. Gwen gets emotional. Wes gets emotional with Gwen. I'm so mad. Like, no more twi Team Gwen. Wes. No more Team Wes. Uh, I was not expecting Wes to be taken out like that. That is so crazy. Uh, it's like a whole shakeup. It's like a whole shakeup of things. So... What do you guys think? How do you guys feel? Who do you guys think is, or is gonna last? I think, Suzanne, I thought Chef John was gonna be banished, but no. So now I think Chef John is gonna make it. I think Suzanne is gonna make it. And I think Boulin is gonna make it. I think Ryan is gonna tap, gonna have to medically tap possibly. And I don't know. I'm on the fence with uh, Gwen. So XLR updates. Boulent drops from a 6.4 to a 6.1 due to not, you know, basically not getting any, getting any food. Uh, the six pack uh, heat exhaustion and cost since they and West had some constipation issues. Uh, their, their XLR, not PSR, XLR drops uh, from a six. 0.2 to a 5.6. Dang, it dropped hard too. And then Wes got taken out of there. Ah, uh, we only got like two more episodes left. Like, do y'all think we only got two? More? I think they they were saying on Twitter we got two more episodes left. This is crazy. Like, yeah, it's two more episodes left. This is this is like an emotional roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> like, I'm not out there. Do y'all understand? Like, I'm investing into this show. Like. I'm just interested in how people can survive in the bush, you know? So, follow me on all social media at Let's Talk Wild. I'll throw up my cash app if you would like to donate. And if you would like to get to know me personally, I will throw up my WordPress blog. Share, like, stay notified, stay blessed up, y'all. Stay safe, mask up, mask on. Wash your hands, okay? Talk to you guys next time.